Gina McCarthy, this is a huge issue for our economy, folks. This is probably one of the biggest things. Gina McCarthy is, has, has, is probably, and she probably knows it, Gina McCarthy is probably one of the most powerful people in the world right now. You want power? Control the EPA and this cap-and-trade bill that you've been handed to. You want to get a glimpse of Gina McCarthy's attitude? Listen to this. I've had some experience in this, um, and, and as, as rules get challenged, they are still implemented. Um, and so I'm confident that EPA will, will do a rule that is legally solid and where the facts um, are used uh, as the basis so that w we should be fine. I'm sure we'll get sued. Um, it always happens. Um, but in the meantime, while those suits are, uh, are moving through the courts, the vast majority of time those rules stay in place. And should some future administration decide they want to change their mind, they better come up with some different science and different facts to back that up because it's not that easy to undo once it's in place. Well, different signs or different, different science or different facts to back up if a different administration wants to change it. Well, one thing is for certain. That's not going to be very hard to do. That may be the easiest task that a new administration is going to have. The task of coming up with a new, as she said, science and some different facts. Because it's pretty easy to come up with the right and true science based on reputable scientists. And it's going to re be really easy to see the facts change quickly because their facts are skewed. So it'll be interesting. We'll have to wait and see. But um, look, that's a little glimpse of what we're in for. And if you're in the natural gas industry, you've got to be sweating bullets right now because fracking is going to be attacked in a powerful way over the next 12 months. If fracking continues to be attacked uh, in a powerful way and they – create enough bureaucracy to slow it down, then we're going to be in for some trouble. The EPA might as well be the Department of Agriculture because now the Clean Water Act falls under them and they are now going to be rationing water or they're going to be asking farmers and ranchers to get permits for water. That's going to fall under the EPA. They are also going to control the food supply of the world, certainly of this nation.